Without further ado, let's go to the party. Well, why don't you go ahead? I'm gonna wait for further ado. Uh, he'll be along in a minute. Well, in that case, why don't we meet him inside? No, I got a better idea. We'll go in and wait for him. No, I gotta go to the party. Okay, I can't go. You're invited. Hey, how would you like to come up to my place for the evening? Promise you'll be good? Good, I'll be magnificent. We spent $35 million on the space program. Now, some people say we should have given it to the poor. Oh, now, what do the poor know about running a space program? <laughs> Dan, hmm? my boyfriend and I went to a computer dating service and found out we were absolutely incompatible. I guess we'll have to give up the apartment. <laughs> Boris is a lousy bridge partner. The only time I know what he's holding in his hand is when it's under the table. On my knee! Oft when the shepherd is elsewhere, as he seeketh his sheep, it is the eunuch who fleeces the flock. <laughs> Teresa. Hey, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. You know I had a terrible nightmare last night. Oh, it's too bad, Dick. I had a beautiful dream. Well, in my nightmare, I was up to my neck in quicksand. Uh, what was your beautiful dream about? Oh, about the same as yours, only you were George Wallace. <laughs> Say, Goldie, what do you think about the population explosion? Well, it's okay with me, Dan, as long as I don't wake up the babies. <laughs> I went out with this girl last night. I'm not saying she was frigid, but every time she opened her mouth, a light went on. My boyfriend looked me right in the eye and said he loved my new see-through blouse which just proved he didn't really like it. I say, why shouldn't Brackle Welsh play a man in Myra Breckenridge? Well, I can give you two good reasons. Oh, yeah? Well, that only answers half the question. Just my luck, I'll end up with half the shaves. Well, wait, is, is Raquel Welsh really gonna play Myra Breckenridge? Yeah, and I'll bet she wins, too. <laughs> Somehow, she just doesn't uh, seem right for the part. Yeah, but uh, them parts sure seem right for her. My poor boy married an awful girl. He has to do the washing, the shopping, and bring her breakfast in bed. But my daughter now, she married a wonderful man. He does all the washing and shopping and brings her breakfast in bed. <laughs> You know, I'm terribly disappointed in American women. Everything about them is plastic. Plastic bosoms, plastic surgery, plastic hair. I took a girl out last night, and when I squeezed her, she said, Mama. You know, Hollywood's making a movie about the war in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it runs too long, and it's way over budget, <laughs> and they can't seem to find a good ending for it. <laughs> Sounds like they took the plot from the Pentagon. Uh -huh. There's no stopping progress. At St. Paul, they put fluoride in the holy water. Attendance went up 40%. Cavities went down 16%. <laughs> 